So again, the assumption in here is that as a prerequisite, you need to have a query installed prior to coming to this video. So we want to store the value into configure map, and then we going to then provide as input to the data volume, and the data volume can take that to authenticate using TLS process. And the way we going to attempt that is we want to look at the create configuration uh, URL, and then we this video will show you how to get that certificate you need. Be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So take a little while. So once you're there, click modify configuration. And then again, you need to have the certificate done before doing this. So your site is secure. So when you scroll to the bottom, there's a section where this save configuration changes, go next. And you can download this configuration and the entire things and this container certificate. Once you download the file and extract it, you're going to see a number of different things. You're going to do an extra underscore CA underscore certs, and then you'll see create.crt. That's what we need. So assume you copy the file to the directory where you can easily find it, and you're in the login to OpenShift, and you're in the project, right project. You can create a config map using the certificate with the following command, and you can reference the file with the, this um, option. Give it a few, sec few seconds and then it will create uh, the config map containing the TLS certificate. So there you go. And you can verify it is created. That's it. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget. And hopefully we can see you again next time. Bye bye.